My name is uh, Dr. Edward Condrod, and I'd like to welcome everyone for the third annual case conference. And this case conference has always been so much fun for myself and office staff and Dr. O, who's the co-chair for one of the co-chairs for the conference, to put on because we really love bringing together uh, the diverse microcurrent community. And I think we can really learn from each other. Uh, last year at the case conference, um, Millie Ning, who's a therapist from Hong Kong, presented some unbelievable material. And uh, that kind of, uh, she won the case conference last year. And the information she presented last year kind of upset my paradigm of microcurrent. Because I had traditionally thought, you got to know the frequencies. What are the frequencies? Like the frequencies were the magic of getting good results. And the analogy I like to use is I play the violin. And I know the notes for different pieces. But if you hear me play and the office staff will agree with me, you know, I just don't do a very good job compared to someone who's been playing a long time. So it's technique. So it's not just knowing the frequencies. It's the technique in your experience. Now Millie has over 17 years experience. She started when she was what, 18, 20? <laughs> 20. She started when she was 20 doing microcurrent. And um, she's using 10 microamps with only one frequency and getting unbelievable results. Unbelievable results. So I think that her work illustrates it's not the frequency, it's the experience of the practitioner knowing where to apply the microcurrent, understanding the reaction of the body, understanding the physiology of the body, understanding what you're, what you're treating. So Millie, it's fantastic to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Conrad, for inviting me to this event. And a special thanks to my mentor, Dr. Thomas Wing, for developing the Monarch microcurrent with the patented tsunami wave and the machine with the two magic wands. So I'm going to show to you how it works. We'll be talking about microcurrent update, uh, the history and physiology of microcurrent, and later we'll have a presentation, case presentation. Let us discuss why we choose microcurrent as the therapy of choice. Uh, it's the most natural form of therapy available today as it simply puts back microcurrent into the body that, which is already there. And uh, I will discuss the development of my application technique, my personal experience since 1992, that's 17 years ago. And then we have the case presentation. I'll show to you instant result in facial reju rejuvenation, how to reduce the lines, uh, the eye bags, the dark circles, and how to transform wrinkle lips to sexy lips, and how to lift the breast, and how to mobilize the joints, uh, strengthen the muscle, I'll show it to you later. Good. Okay? <laughs> I can see some audience is quite excited. <laughs> All right. And uh, microcurrent. So, our human cell is regarded as a miniature battery, and the microcurrent is run in our body so that we can you know, monitor it through the EEG, ECG, EMG, all those things. And in 1991, Two German scientists, Dr. Sackman and Dr. Niha, they won the Nobel Prize of Medicine and Physiology by research on the response of the microcurrent on physiology of human cell membrane. Um, this research quantified the benefits of microcurrent therapy and described the physiological processes of why this style of intervention was having such enormous success. And, uh, oh, sorry, in fact, you can um, refer it to the New York Times Science article, the October 8, 1991. So if you're interested, Google it. All right, so I, we've got to talk on the iron gate theory. Each iron channel being specific for a particular nutrient. And uh, in our cell, we got 20 to 42 iron channels. I, these ion channels are I, for uh, specific for like calcium, magnesium, 
uh, sodium, etc. And it is responsible for toxic waste release and the nutrient uptake. Uh, the two German scientists, they, uh, they concentrate their research on three aspects, on fertilization, cystic fibrosis, and diabetes. Well, with diabetes, it's actually a deficiency of the ATP controlled iron pump, which interferes with the pancreatic insulin production to properly control the blood sugar. And for cystic fibrosis, as you all know, that this, this is a, a very common condition in the Caucasian population. And it is in fact the result of a missing chloride ion channel. So the condition can be reversed by opening the pathway into the unhealthy cells. And for fertilization, it is, a, it is in fact a, an electrical process that I, Fertilization changes the electrical potential of the cell membrane. So we change, we, I, I mean, we, use, we can use microcurrent to change this electrical potential of the cell membrane so as to prevent the other sperm from entering the uh, fertilized egg. Okay, talking about electrical therapy, we can't not mention Dr. Robert Becker of Santa Ana, California. And they he, together with a group of scientists at Albert Einstein College of Medicine in New York, they simultaneously researched on the positive effects of treating AIDS, HIV, and hepatitis. And the New York group, they show this microcurrent can alter the outer protein layers of the HIV virus so as to prevent subsequent attachment to these receptor cells in the blood. And this group, in fact, they receive a patent for their work in the cleansing blood. And according to Dr. Becker, uh, in the Body Electric, the book that uh, he's written by him, that uh, we humans can grow our own stem cells to regenerate our failed body parts. This, I would talk about this in the later slides about uh, my treatment on a total quadriplegic patient later on. Okay, so let's take a look at the history, the important historical events in the development of microcurrent. In fact, in hundred, some hundred years ago, scientists started electrical intervention to our human body. And then in 1979, uh, President Nixon of the United States visited China that drew attention of the world to the amazing effect of acupuncture, which prompted the development of microcurrent machine by the group of scientists, including Dr. Thomas Wing. So in 1984, I think you all know that in the Summer Olympic in LA, California, the first instrument of therapeutic application of microcurrent uh, was being used on the athletes that have profound results with injury, pain, and performance enhancements. Uh, you remember Carl Lewis? He was injured in that, during that period at, that he thought that he won't be able to compete. But then Dr. Wing and the group scientists used microcurrent to treat him that at last he won four gold, med four gold medals that broke the record. Okay. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that uh, Dr. Sartman and Dr. Niha, two, two German scientists, in 1991, he won, they won the Nobel Prize on Medicine and Physiology. But, uh, okay, the scientists turned their attention to electrical intervention during around 1980 to 1990, that initially they have poor results with the tense, tense style of electrical intervention, so they almost want to give up. But one day, a circuit was malfunctioned. So it produced an amazing result, which is what they are looking for, microcurrent. 